if there's more conversations like this happening in agencies like this, yeah. I think that's when we will fully be woke. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right now. What's up, everyone? This is Talk Shop, a space for GS and peers to come together and have unfiltered conversations. Before we get into it, let's welcome the panel today. Thanks for having me. Thank, thank, thank you for coming. Um, today, we're going to talk about a word that's been used a lot, a word that I think used to mean a lot, wokeness. Woke. I am woke. You are woke. She is woke. Let's stay be woke. woke. Stay woke. I mean, my, my main issue with the word woke, we kind of like hinted to it, but everyone and their mom uses it yeah. to the point where the actual meaning of the word has been diluted. Just saying, just saying the word, word woke is like saying, I got black friends. I think it is. I feel like once it hit a spot where like, Every the populace has it, mainstream. right? Mainstream has it, but not even the main, the most main of mainstream has it. It's over, mm -hmm. right? It's over, and whether we, like, though we we created it, and though it was associated with the African American struggle, it's like it. Not that it's not ours anymore, but we don't have control over. Mm. But I think it's really easy to hyper focus on black issues without thinking about what does woke per se, mean for other marginalized communities. Right. Well, I just think, I mean, that's part of white privilege. It's not to have yeah. to think about anybody mm -hmm. else's struggle other than their day to day. Because every day we have our own personal struggles right. as right. human beings, right? Um, but minorities, we have that extra level of struggle. For me, it, it kind of just felt like like you were saying, just about being attentive to the issue. It's like, okay, you're aware of it, and then what? You know, right. that's, I feel like that's for me where it died. It's like, okay, cool. Like, Everyone can be woke, everyone can be aware that things are happening, but if there's no like action behind right. the wokeness, for me, that's kind of where it fell flat. But like to Sully's point, right? Like everybody has their daily, like off of just not even just your race or your, your gender or what have you. It's like the day-to-day -day grind of being a, a human mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. Like I grew up very similar to you, right? In a, in a, in a, in a white suburb, my dad's a doctor, grew up, he drove a Lexus, he's like, you can't drive my car past mm -hmm. eight. Right? So I grew up 16, 17 years old knowing that I, there were things I couldn't do as a human being because I was black. And it's just like, if we're just, if they're just becoming woke on like police brutality, right? Mm -hmm. Which is like what we've grown up with and you know, all these things that we know personally very, very well. How can we expect them to be woke on microaggressions? Yeah. But don't you feel like those small yeah. things they, is what has led to yes, the big things? Exactly. Right? That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, but we're not woke to the little microaggressions. Yeah. You know what I mean, like yes. the touching of my hair, the little little jabs or mm -hmm. the little things, it's just blind. Like exactly. they don't see it. And so that's that's what my issue with woke is, because if you're gonna be woke, be all the way woke. Well, it's, it's Black History Month, and typically Ooh. companies... <laughs> Black History Month, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, can we get that? We can, yeah. Can clap for that? <laughs> <laughs> typically, people go back and look in the past. Like, you know, we've got the Harriet Tubmans and the Malcolm X and the Martin Luther King, and, and there's memorials and lots of things that you can kind of get educated and remember the, the people who've, you know, helped shape um, sure. who we are today. But I, I think I'm interested to know how do we see ourselves being like 10, 20, 30 years from now? Who are the people who we feel like can be in the history books in the next decade or two? Someone like a Colin Kaepernick, mm. um, in terms of you know what he was willing to throw away. And I, I know it's not it's a completely outside of advertising or what have you, but I do think that he's going to make a name for himself outside of football. Yeah. Like we need to have these conversations at our at our previous agency. We had this conversation. We we took the initiative, and, and when more people take the initiative to do things like this, then everybody will 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 wake up to to the idea that we do need to diversify. We do need to listen. We do need to you know, appreciate everybody's culture and differences and all these different things. You know, and I think it, you also just want it, want it to get to a point where it just feels normal to have multicultural sets and yeah. people with all types of differences, and I guess. Um, so I, I, that's kind of where I'm thinking, is just it just becomes more normalized. It's not a big conversation that has to happen every time. 
Um, it just kind of is a reflection of the world that we live in. Your point as far as like the younger audience, when we think about Gen Z, you can't mess with stats. Like they're 47% ethnic minorities. And so that's only going to grow, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I personally feel really hopeful that our industry is only going to change with the times. Mm -hmm. And right now this is just a messy period. I, I make this joke all the time of like, um, when it's 2020, can we just like start saying, hey man, it's the 20s. Like, you know, again, like, you know, like, relax. Like, how can you talk like that? It's the 20s. Like, you know, like, and I just think of like, yeah. <laughs> Which sounds absurd. <laughs>、like、the, what, like, like, what magic have they found that a lot of. It's not magic. Found it's diversity. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes> . <laughs>